local businesses, local groups, your friends and neighbors on TV. Live in Tallahassee is brought to you by the Proctor Car Dealerships. Prism TV by CenturyLink. And now, here are your hosts, Ann Howard and Joel Silver. You are looking at downtown Tallahassee, the hubbub of activity here as we welcome back legislators to Tallahassee. And we are inside the warmth and away from all the crowds right now in our downtown studios here at Silver Digital Media, Joel Silver alongside the beautiful Ann Howard for another episode of Live in Tallahassee as we bring you through the exciting events happening around our great region. And I have to say, I appreciate that we are inside because it is freezing out there. Ann was cold, didn't want to do it outside in front of the Capitol. Oh, so yeah. we're, we came inside and we are going to do a great show. Are you ready? I am ready. We've actually got a lot going on, so it's, it's actually okay that we're inside. You're going to see a lot on the show, per usual. We're going to start where, Joel? Well, we want to show you some of the exciting stuff that's happening involving everybody coming back to town. Let's take a look at some video right off the top of the show that we shot at Associated Industries of Florida. And this is the big welcome back party. And you can see hundreds of people there. And this is people from all over the state that have come back, mixing, mingling with a lot of our local friends here. And we have lobbyists in the crowd, and we've got legislators. That's right. We've got media, media yep. out there. Everybody was there as we get to start the 60-day legislative session, and it's it's a great time for our community because it's great for our economy. You know, I look forward to the uh, 2014 session, working with AIF and their members to make sure that we here in Florida have a thriving business community, a business community that can uh, give back jobs to. Uh, people in my district because uh, when our businesses thrive, I think our entire state thrives. So AIF, I'm uh, really excited about this. Thank you. So there it is. Everybody here enjoying the lovely weather of Tallahassee. And now time to go through the rest of the things happening in our fine city. Later on in this show, don't go away. You're going to want to see some of the exciting things that we have planned for you. Coming up, a film festival in Tallahassee. We'll show you where it happened, where they showed the films, as they bring a little culture to our fine city. And after that, we're going to go and do some shopping, which you can actually do every single Saturday. So if you missed it, here's a little preview for you. This is downtown Tallahassee. Every Saturday, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're going to tell you more about that and give you some insight into the type of great things you can buy there. Yes, indeed. And if you want to taste beer, where would you go? Well, how about New Leaf Market? We'll show you what was happening right in the middle of New Leaf Market and what kind of beers people were sampling just a little bit later in the show. But we all start with, and the biggest event in our region, sometimes we have to leave the city limits of Tallahassee right. when the event calls for it, when it's big enough. And there was a big event in St. George Island. And yeah, I have to agree with you. This is probably one of the biggest things that happens in the Big Bend. And uh, most of Tallahassee was gone that day and they were at St. George Island. Exactly, we sent one of the biggest personalities, the guy who can handle all the excitement. Let's go to John Summers, reporting for us in St. George Island from the St. George Island Chili Cook-Off. Thanks guys, yeah, we're here at the infamous Chili Cook-Off on St. George Island. It's a great benefit. People come from all around, thousands of folks will be here today. And of course, it's raising money for the St. George Island Fire Department. And the winner gets to go on to the regional Chili Cook-Off. With that being said, let's go around and see what's cooking. Hey, live in Tallahassee, I'm Walt, this is Jesse. We're here with Breaking Bad Chili, Heisenberg Chili. We got some of the Albuquerque Blue. Oh, it's some good stuff. We cannot wait to win this chili competition. It's all about the chili, baby. And all about the volunteer fire department that we're helping to support. Thanks very much. All right, you're here at St. George Island at the Chili Cook-Off at Burning in Both Ends Tent. And uh, we've got the head chef, Billy Bergfeld here. We're from Destin, Florida. Yeah, there's, uh, there's not a whole lot of secret to it. It's um, Everything's a secret but the meat. The, the meat is real meat, so. <laughs> Good morning, welcome to SGI and the annual chili cook-off. This is Uncle Bug here from Brantford, Connecticut, and Mrs. Bug. Uh, we're using uh, Eye of the Round beef, we're using some smoked pork sausage, and some linguisa and chorice, which is brought in from Massachusetts. From the Chili Cook-Off on St. George Island. I'm 
I'm here at the main stage at the Chili Cook-Off with my buddy Larry from Production Support Group, or is it Real Rock Productions? I can't keep Either up. one as long as you call me. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we've got your big PA system out here. Tell me about some of the entertainment that's going to be on later in the day. Well, we're going to have Drew Tillman out. Oh, and, man. And Tell you can't go wrong with that. Yep. Yeah. And uh, rockin' band. And then we go. We have a gospel group of a bunch of singers and a drummer. And then we have an acoustic group that's going to be out in the afternoon. There you go. And then it'll be going on all day today, right? We start at, I think it starts at 12, 31 o'clock for this stage. All right, I'm here with Jane Bamberg. She is the president of the Chili Cook-Off. Man, what a beautiful day it turned out to be. I know you guys got to be happy about that. We're so excited. We just can't. This is the first day we've had like this in many years. All the monies that are raised here today go to the St. George Island Volunteer Fire Department and First Responder morning, Unit. So when I see the fire chief has now joined us so you could probably I mean this is a big deal for you guys this is you like what keeps you all going right yes for the last 32 years this has been going on wow. and all the money goes to the fire department we've built two firehouses seven trucks two jet skis you know we do water rescue also all from the chili cook-off yes Right. And how many people are all expecting this year? What do you what do you anticipate this year's uh, event will bring in? With the crowd and with the weather being like it is, we're probably between five and seven thousand. That's incredible. Yep. That's yep. great. Five and seven thousand people. Between five to seven thousand. It and, should and, be easily. And that like vastly increases the population of St. George Island. <laughs> yes, it does, and it's all concentrated in this one area. I'm Mongo Fire with Team Spice Boys. This is our eighth year here. We got my man John Slade, Mike Honcho cooking chili, fresh with plenty of love. We've been doing this for what eight years, loving every single bit of it. Yeah, best chili in the world. They said. Well, they're like what eight-time winners, so this is gonna be good. So here we go. Let me try it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is good. I think these guys might be the winners again today. We'll find out a little later on. Unbelievable. Howdy. John Holman, Crawfordville, Florida. Uh, we've been cooking here now for about 10 years, and we use a special Cajun recipe. Uh, when you eat our chili, you taste it. An hour later, the taste goes away. So we haven't, we haven't won yet, but we're still working on it. And this here's my sidekick, Millie Eldridge. That's right. Okay, I'm here with my buddy Chuck from Blue Water Cooking Company. Man, it's good to see you, Chuck. I see you all have the corner spot here. What a setup. Tell me a little bit about what goes into making your chili the best on my island tonight. Oh, well, John, you know, we've been out here 14, 15 years now, and we, we just love coming down. And as you can see behind me, i got a great crew, and that's what it takes to get it done. And uh, we just, we're making some vegetarian chili, which is kind of a little different for everybody. But uh, we just come out here and have a great time, and uh, these guys back here make it happen. Okay, I'm here with Team Toilet Bowl. Unbelievable. Hey, look at this, this is great. And Sugar is the girl in charge. How are you doing, Sugar? I'm doing great. Our motto is hot going in, even hotter coming out. So come sit on the pot and get a tidy bowl shot. Okay, sit on the pot and get a tidy bowl shot. That sounds like a challenge to me. I am, I, okay, I'm gonna do it, guys. Okay, let's go over. I'm gonna sit. Here we go. I'm gonna sit on the pot. This is this is gonna destroy my career. All right. <laughs> Here we go. They're 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 pouring it in. Well, I've got I've got my tidy bowl cleaner and everything. All right. So. I love it. Team toilet bowl. Chili Cook-Off, St. George Island. Doesn't get any better than this. We'll be back right after this break, live in Tallahassee. Yeah. Do you love delicious barbecue? How about great live musics? Then bring the whole family to enjoy a fun-filled day at the 5th Annual Southeast Regional Pig Fest. A car and bike show. The marketplace for a great shopping experience. Food vendors and a festival Midway Kid Zone. Barbecue chef Myron Mixon from TLC's Barbecue Pit Masters will be cooking for you. Be a vendor or volunteer, call us or check us out online and on Facebook. Do it today to reserve your VIP tickets. 
St. George Island. Live in Tallahassee is here in St. George Island. It is going to be a great, great chili cook-off. You won't miss it. If you're not here, you should have been here. Let me turn on the music. You should have been here. If you're in Tallahassee, you should have come down to St. George Island. Right there. This is where the party's at. You should have been here. St. George Island. Live in Tallahassee. All right, I'm here with Steve, my buddy. It's hotter than hell chili. Yes, can, it is. Can, can I say hell on television? I guess that's hot. I think that's one of those. It's, a, it's only a four-letter word, <laughs> so it's okay. You well, well what, what attracted me to your booth here is, is the lovely chilies all hanging around here and also the bottles of Patron. Now, you got to love that. And for the Sammy Hagar fans, we have a little Cabo Wabo. Oh, unbelievable. It, see, it's much more than just chili. It's also about having fun and getting your drink on, right? That's right. You know, it's tequila sunrise time. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. <laughs> it's iced down. It's ready to roll. Uno, dos, tres. Live in Tallahassee, chili cook-off. You gotta love it. Live in Tallahassee, go ahead and give it to us. Hey, I'm here with Patty Intrigan, and Patty, I understand you're one of the past winners here at the Chili Cook-Off. Yes, we've won two first places. This makes three and two second places. Wow, and what division? Are you in a special section? or No, just crock pots. That's the, all we the, do. So I, it, there is, there's a crock pot chili, and then there's another kind, oh, right? It, there's the regional Chili Cook-Offs, you gotcha. know, and we're not, we put beans in our chili. There you go. Uh, I love the beans. Uh, we do, too. Yeah, we that's do great. Too. Well, congratulations, and, uh, and good luck this year. How do you feel? your chances are oh I think we did great yeah. <laughs> I'm here with Ali Benevento this year's Miss Chili Pepper how, how does it feel it feels great my best friend Austin Wildman and I we both won we're co Miss Chili Pepper 2014 that is so cool and and now what are your responsibilities as now this year's reigning Chili Pepper Queen well as the Chili Pepper Queens <laughs> our responsibility stay spicy hot Spicy hot. Spicy hot. Gotta love it. Congratulations. Thank you. We're so excited. It's going to be a great year. There you go. Oh. I'm on the stage right now. We have just crowned Mr. Chili Cook-Off for the year. Cliff, congratulations, buddy. You made it. Thank you, sir. This is quite impressive. I think you might be getting a little bit of a suntan here, though. That's all right. I uh, just hope nobody at my work sees this because I have a sprained ankle and I couldn't come in Friday for work, so I hope I'm not in trouble. Well, Please don't fire me. I, I think we'll be able to write you a note, all right, buddy? All right, thanks, y'all. Y'all have a great day. Eat as much chili as y'all can, and woo! <laughs> You're the man, buddy. Appreciate it. Woo! Yeah. All right, we'll be back with the winner of this year's 2014 Chili Cook-Off live from St. George Island right after this break. No clicking. Subaru Love Spring Event, going on now at Proctor Subaru. Welcome back to Live in Tallahassee. We are downtown at Silver Digital Media Studios. We've got tons of legislators and lawmakers, the same thing, and lobbyists and folks all downtown enjoying themselves out in the cold, and we're inside in the warmth talking about um, something called chili. Yes, this is where it all happens, folks. This is the uh, studios of Silver Digital Media, where we edit live in Tallahassee each and every week. The editors are behind us here, and uh, the show is being put together as we speak. Literally, right. Exactly. But yeah, it was time to get back, I think, to St. George Island Chili Cook-Off. What did you think about John Summers in segment one? I, it looks like he's having a lot of fun out there and, in, and enjoying the adult beverages and uh, <laughs> some of the chili. Well, the thing about John is that's really, what you see on TV is really what you get in real life. There's not a lot of change. He's, he's yeah. that guy. He is great. And if you thought the first segment was great, where do you see what he does now in segment two? You're watching live in Tallahassee! Woo! 
I'm here with Grayson Shepard, the chairman of the chili cook-off. Grayson, tell me what's happening right back here in this tent. Right now they're judging the chilies. We had 36 competitors. So there, this is the first round right here. All 36 chilies are on the table. We've got 20 judges that are going through and judging that. Once they select their top 10, those are going to go onto another table where it's going to be uh, finalized. So we have a whole other set of judges. We'll come in and pick the number one through five chilies. Beautiful. They're all so good. They're so good. It's going to be hard to get a winner this year, isn't it? Oh, indeed. In your opinion, I mean, what, what makes a good chili? Can you say that? I mean, how, what do they go by? What's but a heavy meat, it seems to me, whatever's meaty, that's what people love. And the winner here does get to advance, correct? Absolutely. This is a regional cook-off. This is the Southeast Regional, and the people that win here get to go to nationals for the ICS. There's other competitions, but this is the International Chili Society. I got first thing is thank you very much, all you guys. We obviously could not do this without you. This was huge. We're going to start right here with our salsa winner, if you guys didn't know. Spice Boys, number one, won the salsa. Next one's going to be Best Booth. Best Booth goes to The Outhouse. <laughs> Team Toilet Bowl. Showmanship, all the way from Connecticut. Uncle Bug. Whatever you did, they liked you. You bugged me out. Fourth place, Chili, goes to Spice Boys won JG Carver. This is a historic moment because first place goes to Tim Nunn with none better too. The family has swept the cook-off. We, we rechecked it four times to make sure. And there it is. There you have it, folks. What a great day it's been. John Summers going to throw it back to y'all live in Tallahassee. Chili Cook-Off 2014. So congratulations to all of the winners, and this year a lot of the proceeds went to the St. George Island Fire Firefighter Department, so congratulations to them. All great. volunteers out there, and that's why they do it every year, to raise money for them, and uh, great, great group of uh, guys and gals out there. And John Summers, we can't thank you enough, and we hope you'll come back and be on the show again very soon, because we need that energy. Well, he told me he's retired, so I expect oh. to see him a whole lot more. Oh, good. That's right. All right. <laughs> There's so much more when Live and Tell he resumes. We're going to tell you what kind of beers they were tasting at New Leaf Market. We're going to tell you about some upcoming events involving pigs and horses and a whole lot more. Live and Tell the number one entertainment show in town, resumes right after this. Pigs and horses as well. If you're looking for a place to party Friday night, then the only option is Stetson's. It's Stetson's Ladies Night, where ladies 21 plus are in for free till midnight. We've also got $2 drinks and long necks on tap till 11 to get your night started right. The DJs will have a hot mix of country dance tracks along with the ever popular booty break. Also check out the mechanical bull and karaoke sing-along. Friday night is Stetson's. For more information, connect or call 222 Moon. Welcome back to Live in Tallahassee. I'm Ann Howard, sitting here with my handsome co-host, Joel Silver, who's actually just now starting to get beat up by Session. And he's just doing, about. Start, starting to do well. And it's only week one. Only week one, that's right. We've been over there all week long, and it's been great. Um, a lot of people, a lot of excitement, and a lot happening. We want to send out a special welcome to those watching on Prism TV. You're watching in the highest quality HD format. Prism TV, the best quality, the most channels, and the quickest uh, channel changing time, man, if you've ever seen it. You get to the next I, station really I'm a, fast. I'm a customer, so yes, I know all these things, I agree. There are other things happening other than the chili cook-off this week. We want to tell you about some other things happening in Tallahassee, and we call that our Quick Shots. We start at the Challenger Learning Center. Woohoo! Hello, Michelle Personette. Tally Shorts Festival. 
2014 and Anne, these were some of the best independent films that have been made in the country and internationally. Oh, wow. It was the International Festival, now that I think about it. And they showed it in the planetarium, so it was really special to see that there. You see people gathered from near and far, film festival goers, we had filmmakers, film connoisseurs, and it people works. that love the arts. Right, sure. Yeah, it was, it was great. And uh, no better place to do that than the Challenger Learning Center. Congratulations. The judge's favorite in for first place, The Future, directed by Venetia Taylor. The Florida favorite in first place, Scapegoat, directed by Kadif Sanders. So lots of great films there. Let's hear from the organizers. I'm Richard Robards. I'm the director of the Tally, uh, Tally Schwartz Film Festival, and uh, we're in our second year here uh, playing at the Digital Dome um, in downtown Tallahassee. And uh, we've had we've had tremendous growth this year um, from last year. Where last year we did a, a free festival uh, for the community, and this year uh, we're hosting it as a competition. Uh, we've we've had a, a great turnout. We've had more uh, submitted films this year uh, than was expected, and we've had a turnout of audience members uh, that is greater than expected. So uh, we can only really go uh, up, I think, every year from here. People come into Tyler Shorts to uh, we're we're a festival of, of only short films. Um, probably like 17, 18 different countries um, have submitted films and uh, we're playing them. We're about 60-40 split on what's international versus national. Five films per block, um, usually runs a little over an hour, um, and admission is $5 per block. And this is our first one for 2014. And so yeah, we're, we're looking like um, we, we're gonna have a great year. And all right. And there's two more of those folks, by the way, as you heard, and uh, so you definitely wanna go to the next couple if you enjoy independent films. All right, and after that, we're going to go to a few, I don't know, feet, yards up the street. We're going to right. go to Tallahassee downtown, and this is the Marketplace. And this, this just started. It goes from March to November, and they've got different events going on every single week. But this is where you go when you want to go and get unique, different gifts for people that are special to you. Uh, downtown Marketplace features those fresh, homegrown products like organic items, fresh breads and eggs are available, fresh flowers, native plants. Basically, if you go online to TallahasseeDowntown.com, you will see every single week there's a different feature. Let's listen in here to one of the vendors who sells some beautiful paintings. Hi, I'm Karen Stewart. I'm a local artist, and you can find me at the Downtown Market. We're here on Saturdays, 9 to 4, sorry. And I'm usually on the corner booth down by the music, so I'm easy to find. So stop in and see us. And finally, Anne, we're going to go to New Leaf Market, which you know has great foods, healthy foods. But did you know they also serve beer and you can taste beer there? Check out the lineup here. Nice, cold, frosty beer and a healthy line in place, too, as people want to find out what the new and good beers are. These are all craft beers, which is so huge and popular these days. And uh, they do this quite often. So go to New Leaf's website if you want to find out when. But you can see the people here loved it. Let's hear from the beer connoisseur who was serving it up. In the middle of the store now, Billy, we're tasting beers. Tell me what's the overall concept here. Uh, overall concept is to just try the many, many uh, craft beers that are available out there these days. There's so many different flavors um, that we fill every couple of weeks. We should give it a try. And speaking of so many flavors, here's what I had just moments ago. Grapefruit. Abita grapefruit. What I mean, they're making everything now, huh? Everything in beer. Uh, fruit beers are really popular these days. Strawberries, really? raspberries. With uh, everybody, or with, just well with females, a lot of folks. girls or what? Kind of run the gamut. Usually they're a little bit lighter, so sometimes it's the ladies that like them, but fellas too. All right, hey, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. Myself. So tell me, how often do we do the beer tasting here at uh, at New Leaf? Every first and third Saturday from 4:30 to 6. That'll change in April. It'll be earlier. It'll be 2 to 3:30 in the afternoon. But every first and third Saturday. And are you a beer expert? Absolutely not. I've learned some some things <laughs> about beers. Uh, for four years, I've been learning about beer, so I know a little bit more than I used to. But by no means an expert. There's so much out there these days that it's kind of hard to be so. You just enjoy it. Absolutely. I mean, it's beer. <laughs> We do a lot of beer tasting on the show, and I've got to say, since uh, I, I'm not a huge beer drinker, this actually behooves you, doesn't it? Yeah, well, as you, you can see, stories. you saw me taste right. the beer there. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed it. That was, uh, mm, it was delicious, a pineapple beer or something, yeah. and it was, uh, it was really tasty. We had a good time going out, and we want to send a big thank you out to some of the new interns that are working on Live in Tallahassee who shot some of those stories. They're up-and-coming filmmakers themselves, and they're doing a great job and helping us out, making sure we cover all these fun events 
around Tallahassee. Thank you very much. You got a thank you for Ann. See that? That's right. And folks, we have one more segment to go. We're going to stay inside because still Ann is too cold. Does not want to go outside it in the elements. Ann. Ann's the only person who's cold, by the way. We're going <laughs> we're gonna to keep doing all four segments right here from our studios. But we want also we wanted you to be able to look and see what it looks like in here anyway. Where the so magic happens. This is it. When we come back, Anne is going to talk about her favorite barbecue festival coming up in just a little bit. Pink Fest. And we'll tell you about what, who's been going to be riding the horses this coming weekend. Live in Tallahassee resumes after this message from our friends at Proctor. The great thing about a Subaru is you don't have to put up with that new car smell for long. Introducing the versatile, all-new Subaru Forester. Love, it's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. The Subaru Love Spring Event, going on now at Proctor Subaru. Welcome back. Just a few moments left before we end the show here. We got to tell you, as we always do, about events happening in our region. Upcoming events that Live in Tallahassee recommends you attend, and these are the good ones. And All right, so we've got a huge annual event just days away. People are getting ready. You can see them on Meridian Road, all downtown. Every place is packed. We love this event. It brings in literal millions of dollars for That's the right. city of Tallahassee, so we love it. This is the Red Hills Horse Trials. And this is so exciting. There's something to do every day starting tomorrow. On Friday, it's dressage. This is the horse dancing. When the horses get out there, they do their special stuff. On Saturday, cross country. Take your chair out, take your towel out. There will be food vendors and all sorts of things. Eleanor Phipps Clap Park. And it's so exciting out there. And go somewhere on the course and watch these horses jump over these very well-designed challenges. And it's, uh, it's quite a sight. And after this coming weekend, coming up March 15th, starting at 10 a.m., you want to make your way down to the North Florida Fairgrounds and join us for Capital Area Community Action Agency's fundraiser Pig Fest. We've got the family four pack, which is a great deal. Two adults, two kids at $20. It saves you money. And then we've got everything for everyone in the family. I think we've covered everything. We've packed a lot into a little. We've talked about horses. We've talked about pigs. We've talked about some shopping, great events in Tallahassee. Beer, shopping, chili. we got chili. it all. And all, yeah. Yeah, so I think we're set. I think we need to say goodnight. All right. From everybody here at the studios of Silver Digital Media, we thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next week. We love you, Tallahassee. Thank you for watching live in Tallahassee. For the entire team, this is your announcer, John Summers, saying goodnight, and be sure to visit us on Facebook.